All right, welcome to the Coviz Codex, the show that wants to know who you are and what you do. Or something like that. I don't even know. i got to come up with an <laughs> intro for the show. But anyways, who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is William Riley. Uh, I work at Grain and Mortar. I'm a developer there. And um, I do Midwest Dev Chat and Design Chat. And I started Design Chat. Um, and I do Tapped which is like automatic time tracking, and I do Hubdia, which is like a search engine. So I've got my... What's that last one? Uh, Hubdia? Hubdia. It's a hub for your media. Oh, okay. I thought it was some kind of foreign word. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Is it anything else? Uh... No, I think that's it. I I, I think so. Super (laughs) busy. Um, Okay. So I'm just going to ask you some questions to get to know you better, yada, yada, yada. Um, if you're not caught up by now, watch some of the previous episodes. Uh, where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in uh, Modesto, California. Uh, well, it was it was s- 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 uh, Southern California for the most part. So like, I was born in Modesto, and then we moved to Stockton. Um, and then I think we were there for like six years. We were in Tracy for a time, but it was pretty much South, uh, South California. Uh, were your parents in the military or something? No. Um, just like to move around? Actually, my gram, my grandma was in the, my grandma and grandpa were in the military, but it was just, yeah, we just like to move around, I guess. How did you get to Nebraska? Um, cost of living was so high in California that we were like, we have to leave. So just left, um, on a whim. We had some, uh, family up here and, uh, live with them to like get ourselves on our feet. And like, uh, prices were astronomically lower from California to Nebraska. It was a three day drive because we like, we loaded up in this red truck that my mom's ex-boyfriend had loaded up. We were in the back and then we just drove Three days straight. <laughs> and it was like summer. It was like right before I started seventh grade or eighth grade. So it's summer, it's hot, and we're driving along and <laughs> um yeah. Uh How long ago was that? A lot. that was a uh, uh four I was fourteen? I think it was fourteen. So I'm twenty four now, so it was ten ten years ago. Cool. Do you like it here? Better. Yeah, except for the w- w- winter. <laughs> it's definitely not hot. Super cold. <laughs> All right. Um, so outside of your parents, who has been the most influential in your life? Um, outside of my parents, um, I most think... people say my parents. You know, you know, like they're forced to. Like they have to. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's obvious that my mom has. Yeah, that's that sh- should go without saying, but I should say it more often. Um, my, I think the person who's been the most influential in me is uh, I had a. Professionally, my teacher from high school, uh, I worked with him. Um, okay, so I was with this guy in high school for three years. His name's David Shruffler. He's a inter. Er, he's a creative director, I think now at Urban and Smith. Um, I was with him for three years, learning code. I started with Java, and then we, we were like super fortunate to have a Java class, by the way, in high school. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Uh, learned Java, uh, Java from him, then went to, um, Java servlet pages, JSP, mm-hmm. and then moved to, uh, PHP, and then I left, and we were, we had, like, this two-year, probably three-year gap where we didn't, like, talk, um, but, like, met up, said, hey, what's going on, you know, kept up and stuff, um, and then I got a job with him working on a startup for, uh, um, it was at Urban and Smith, so he's been pretty influential in how, like, professionally I've developed. He's a pretty big, uh, deal, I think. So, David Truffler. Awesome. Sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's good that you have that, uh, you know who that person is right off the bat. Um, best concert you've ever been to? Uh, oh, <sighs> mm. <laughs> that's hard. Okay. I shouldn't clap, by the way. <laughs> Let's see. Um, well, so, I recently went to St. Vincent and Black Keys. That was great. Super fun. Rushed the stage toward the end uh, with this girl who I never met. Uh, I actually didn't catch her name. Um, uh, rushed the stage, and then uh, we got to, like, the, the 
you, you have this section where only the people who paid like astronomical amount of right. money for yeah. these nice tickets to be close to the stage. My, my people, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we went there and then danced for the um, the last uh, uh, bit, and then um, so that was fun. Uh, I think. Oh, I saw. Um, uh, Low Level Owl. Who is it? It's uh, Appleseed Cast. I saw Appleseed Cast play Low Level Owl Part 1 and Part 2 in concert, front to back. And it was borderline religious. It was really good. <laughs> so it was probably that one. Wow. All right. That was great. <laughs> cool. So uh, who was your favorite band? Uh, there's a lot of people who are like... Having a favorite band is kind of dorky. I'm on the other side. I don't care. Like, I listen to a lot of music. So I'm going to say Radiohead because I just love how they've... Have you ever heard of Radiohead? Yeah, sure. Have you... Uh, like, they have... Their first record was, um, you know, very singer songwriting ish mm -hmm. It was Pablo Honey. And um, you, like, fast forward to where they are now, and they're using all sorts of different kinds of uh, music... Um, stylings. Mm -hmm. um, it's electronic. It's really electronic uh, focused, but they, they have really organic elements, so it's like they've progressed throughout the probably like maybe 15 years or so that they've been doing it. I think Pablo Honey was released in... No, OK Computer was released in 1998. So it was 1995 where Pablo Honey was. So they're probably like 20 years old. Radiohead, long story short. <laughs> but... Um, uh, because they, they are reinvent just like, themselves. Yeah, every single album is so different. Cool. All right. Uh, what's the scariest thing you've ever done? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me think. Uh, scariest thing I've ever done is probably startup weekend. Startup weekend. What? Yeah, let's say startup weekend. <laughs> Doing a business generally. It's always kind of scary because, right. like... You can fail. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And that's nice. <laughs> but is that is that your final answer? I think I think for sure yeah. uh, businesses. Um, scary, other scary stuff is probably just, like, you know, low level. Like, I saw... I picked up a snake. Oh, no. Like, <laughs> something like that. Like, really silly. Um, uh, yeah. I think starting a business is real scary, though. Like, okay. actual scary. <laughs> All right. Um, if you could go back in time and change one thing, it doesn't necessarily have to be about you. It could be, like, anything. If you want to save the dinosaurs, for instance, you can do that. <laughs> what would it be? Um, and this is a really good question. I'm not sure. Right? There's a lot of stuff that you could do. Save Tupac. You could save Tupac. <laughs> Man, that's... Wow, that's really worth it. Um, hmm... Invest in Apple. I could invest in Apple. <laughs> oh, you're giving me really good suggestions, and I can't come up with, like, other good ones. Um, oh, I would probably uh, get on... Uh, yeah, yeah, let's say this, actually. If there was a way that I could be employee number two digits at either Facebook or Twitter, that would be nice. Um, so then I could kind of be involved in that process from beginning to end. I guess that would be great. Um, but, like, life-changing, you know, human, <laughs> human helping human type stuff, I, I, like, I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe actually, okay, here's what I would do. The Occupy movement, how it was so focused on so many different things, it would be nice if it wasn't so focused on so many different things, and it was really just more like, organized, not yeah. so much scattered. Yeah, focus on uh, ending the Fed like that exclusively. Yeah. That would have that would have been really. Um, yeah. It's a good one. Uh, what's one surprising thing about you? Um, I, I like hip hop a lot. <laughs> I think probably, maybe not, but um, it seems to me like you just like music a lot. It's music. Yeah. It is music. I mean everything, the whole gamut. But like when I tell people that Thank you for saying that, right? Yeah, yeah. Most people say gambit. G gam gambit. Yeah. Gam which is wrong. Gamut. It, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, you said it right. But I hear it a lot. People say gambit instead of gamut. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
uh, other like surprising things is probably uh, I'm a developer. Well, yeah, I'm a developer. I seem like I'm not very outgoing. Probably to who? That's the problem. <laughs> it's like a lot of people think that I'm either outgoing or introverted. Uh, what are you? Where do you sit? Because like sometimes, I mean, everyone is. The real term is ambiverted, right? Right. Everyone is ambiverted. It just you lean a little. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, maybe it's that I'm a little too outroverted for a developer. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't. So maybe you, that's you surprising. consider yourself more a developer than a designer. I've always pictured you as a designer. Uh, I. It's really challenging because I can do that both. <laughs> it's just. It's just. I don't know. Um, You're like a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Hit my uh, horn in my hair. <laughs> uh, I would say that I probably lean much more developer. Um, maybe that's surprising. Maybe it's that I'm a developer. I'm more. surprised. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Good one. Uh, favorite movie and or book? Um, Chuck Palahniuk is really good. Um, on the flip side... I was kind of raised on, um, what's his name, David, I don't remember what his name is, actually right off the bat, but, uh, Are we talking books? Yeah, books, oh. books. <laughs> okay. Um, but probably, uh, uh, Infinite Jest by David something. His last name is just totally escaping me right now. But it was a really good, like, comedic book. Kind of, it kind of took itself seriously, but it was just, um, really smart, took me forever to read because it, the guy, the writer is great. He is really good. He has a way with words. Um, or I should say it was because he passed. But, um, great. Uh, so, Infinite Jest, probably. Alright, cool. Favorite book. Sorry for rambling. <laughs> no, no favorite movie? Do you watch movies? Do you like movies? Yeah, I, I do. It's just, I don't, um, I don't know. I, I gravitate to, more toward books. If I was going to have to pick one of one of the other books, um, the movie probably like Fight Club. The first time I saw it was really good. Seven was really good. Well, what's in the box? You know, <laughs> anything with Brad Pitt. Is that... <laughs> anything with Brad Pitt, as long as I can see his chest. You know. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm kidding. It, it, but you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's Brad Pitt. Yeah, Let's Brad take ourselves Pitt. seriously. Come on. <laughs> If you could instantly master a new skill, what would it be? Um, lettering. So, uh, l- like, the whole just calligraphy mm-hmm. type, th- that discipline, really interesting to me. Um, another thing that I'm in that I totally spaced on saying is I'm new media director on AIGA at the beginning. Oh, right, yeah. Um, this Wednesday, I think it was this Wednesday... Jessica Hish. She's a letter calligrapher type designer. She came in, she talked about like what she uh, does, what her process is. And it was fascinating. And I can't do that like at all. I don't have like the patience Patience, or the, you know, uh, I guess my hands shake a lot. So it's all the caffeine. It's all the caffeine. That's the problem. (laughs) Maybe Maybe I just stop drinking coffee. Oh, that no, shit, no, that's don't, wrong. don't that's even wrong. say <laughs> stuff like that. That's... Awesome calligraphy. All right. Uh, do you karaoke? <laughs> yes, I'm horrible at it, but I can seriously sing some damn good Queen. So, do you have a uh, favorite song that you? It's probably anything Queen. Uh, <laughs> it's just fun. Um, uh, aside from that, like um, uh, stuff. Like, with karaoke, you want to make sure that you're doing songs that, like, everybody else knows so that they're not, like, you can't pick a Radiohead song because right, it's right. a downer. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, uh, Queen or... Um, Is that the name of the song? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there is a band called Chick Chick Chick, and their, their names are just three exclamation points. Nice. It's really funky. That makes it easy yeah. to search. Queen. <laughs> Alright, Queen. What would you like to be known for? Uh, I would like to be known for... I, okay, I actually have internal debates about this. because Let's make them external. Let's make them external. <laughs> I like that. 
Um, I don't want to be known as the person who, like, is the head of all these, uh, is the head of things. I want to be known as a person who, like, makes people who can be known, better known in the community. Better than, way better than me. So, like, um... So a connector more than a figurehead. Yeah, I think so. Like a hero creator. Like someone who creates heroes, and then they create heroes, and then they create heroes. But not a hero at all, because I don't want that. I just want to, like, build cool shit. That's all. I don't want my name anywhere. (laughs) Alright, that's cool. Uh, What is your favorite party game? Could be a card game, board game. Whatever. Cards Against Humanity. Cards Against Humanity. Dude, it's like, it's straightforward. Unless unless I get the uh, explaining, uh, Exploding Kittens game that the oatmeal oh, right. uh, yeah. guy, he has a picture of uh, an oatmeal comic right above him. So I'm like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Exploding Kittens game would be really fun to play. Um, that whole Russian roulette idea is for super right. fun. Okay. Um, Did you order that from the Kickstarter? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, but aside from that, yeah, for sure, Cards Against Humanity or Risk, I think. Risk? Risk, yeah. Huh. Global domination. <laughs> a different type of game, though. Uh, how would your friends describe you? Um, Kara, uh, uh, one of, at, at, uh, Startup Weekend, our team was, uh, Kara Heacock, uh, Craig Nashlianis, um, Dylan Whittier, and Ben... Uh, Peta and Kara had a really good write up. It's funny because she's sitting like really close to us. Um, <laughs> Kara had a really good write up, and she said that uh, I am easily excited, or I, I, my like passion is really. It's not passion. What was the word? Um, what was the word? <laughs> what was the word, Kara? Am I allowed to talk over here? Yeah, sure, you're okay. Okay. I called you charismatic. 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 So Excitement is contagious. I can't tell you how, like, I I read that and it was just like, oh, and I cheesed and I loved it, so. I'd say that's accurate, too. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Um, if you had to pick a new name, what would it be? Ooh. Yeah, see? This one always gets <laughs> Ooh. I don't know, because I'm super attached to Will. Um... I was going to ask you, do you go by Bill or Will? I go by so many names. Does it matter? Um, it doesn't matter. You can call me whatever you want. Like, I prefer Will, and on paper, I go by William M. Riley. Like, I try to adhere to that as much as possible, on paper. Um, but I want my friends to call me Will. Like, definitely call me Will. Um, if I, had a diff- if I could pick a different name, I would probably go with, uh, like... Well, my name, I guess, was supposed to be Robert at first. It was either Robert or Will, so I'm going to go with Robert. Robert. Because that was... I, I really don't have a name that I want. It, it's just this was the name that was going to be given to me instead. So, right, right. just in case, like, okay. I have a fallback, I guess. That's a good name, Robert and Will. Robert. They're both really uh, regal names. Regal, yeah. yeah. All right. Have you ever broken any bones? No. I have not. Would you like to? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> you um, like Fight Club, right? <laughs> well, gotta, you know. <laughs> Rule number one. Right. Don't talk about Fight Club. You're right? the one. <laughs> oh, I broke the rules. <laughs> when I was really young, um, we were playing, I lived in a trailer park, and it was really trashy. It was in California, and it's okay. It was, uh, we... I had four different friends, and we were playing... This is why it's trashy. This is, like, trashy pinnacle <laughs> incarnate. Um, we were playing King of the Hill on a, a bunch of broken toilets. <laughs> <laughs> and I managed to get to the top, but then I fell and cut my leg right here on some of the porcelain. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, So that's, like, the only, like, big sort of wound. I had to get staples, like, six staples, and the doctor apparently was just like, all right, let's do this. And my mom was like, oh, no. (laughs) Um, That's the biggest, like, sort of wound I've ever had. (laughs) Wow. That's that's horrifying. (laughs) It is. Playing on used toilets, and then you cut yourself on one of them? (laughs) At the time, it was normal. Nowadays, Uh it's like, ew. Who was I? <laughs> yeah. All right, last but not least, is there anything you want to pitch? 
Yeah, um, so there's a lot of things. Okay, so there's a lot of things. Um, number one is uh, at Startup Weekend, we did something called Tapped. And tapped is like automatic time tracking for developers. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're working on extending it to not just developers, but designers and uh, all these other different verticals, industries, people, disciplines. So tapped, if you're interested, it's at tappedapp.co. Um, and then uh, for designers, uh, we build. If if you're in the Midwest developers chat. We have this same sort of thing for Midwest designers, where we can have this awesome, super cool discussion place for any sort of things that happen in the design community. So if you're interested in that, uh, definitely uh, hit me up on Twitter. Um, Bill underscore Riley is my Twitter account. So uh, Can I interject here? Yes. Um, that tapped app, is that written as it sounds, T-A-P-P-E-D? Yes. Um, it's spelled, so, tapped is at T-A-P-P-E-D, uh, app, A-P-P dot C-O. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you, actually. Um, the Midwest startup is, or the Midwest dev chat is, d uh, design, design chat. chat. <laughs> <laughs> Too many of them. I know, right? Um, the Midwest Design Chat is uh, just just hit me up on Twitter. That's the best way to con uh, contact me. And then um, I'm not gonna pitch any more of the other things that I have. <laughs> no, not the AIGA. Or... <laughs> okay, let's go all out. Um, uh, I'm also uh, new media on AIGA, uh, uh, Nebraska AIGA. AIGA is a design group. Uh, it's nonprofit, and it's just a bunch of volunteers. And basically, what we do is we focus on designers in the Midwest. Uh, well, in uh, Nebraska. And um, we try to bring the community super tight. So if you want to be a member, uh, go to nebraska.aiga.org. Um, best way uh, to connect with uh, designers who are in Nebraska. So um, <sighs> I really don't want to do them all, but okay. Hubdia is <laughs> the uh, Hubdia is a search engine. Also, it's for all kinds of different people and all kinds of different disciplines. So. Uh, it basically, like, grabs all your stuff on your social platforms. When you sign up, you connect all your different social platforms. It grabs all your content, and then you can sort through what you like, what you don't like, and what you really love as a um, whatever creative discipline you're, you are. So I'm a developer, a writer, and a musician. And so if there's any content that I have on all these social platforms, whether it's GitHub or Facebook or Instagram, I can slide them left and right. Uh, pull it toward me if I really enjoy it, and then um, mark mark people in my community as inspirations if they are doing work that I really care about, uh, so I can keep up with them. So that's Hubdia. It's a hub for your media. It's a search engine, um, and it's going to help you. So uh, that's all I got. <laughs> if this was the Oscar, if you'd had music playing, right now. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I was thinking. I was like, I, I gotta, I gotta cut this short. <laughs> All right, well, Will, thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much, Skid. It was fun having you here. It was super fun being here. And thanks, everyone, who's watching and listening. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching the Covis Codex. I'm Skid Viss, and I hope you enjoy watching this show as much as I enjoy making it. If you'd like to see more episodes like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and help spread the word by liking and sharing on Twitter and Facebook. Also, I'm always looking for new questions and guest ideas, so please feel free to post your suggestions in the comments section. Thanks again. Peace out.